Uh, in this question, the question reads, the sequence of reactions uh, is shown uh, starting with an alcohol, C387OH. This is propanol. So you're starting with propanol and draw the skittle formula of the alcohol propanol. That's the first thing we need to do. Uh, so we need to we need to f uh, draw the skill formula of the propanol. Remember, uh, OH is bonded to the carbon atom at the end because you would notice that uh, this aldehyde that's being formed or this carboxylic acid that is being formed from propanol, uh, the OH is right at the end. It must be at the end because the carboxylic acid is uh, formed by the, by the carbon atom at the end. The aldehyde is also formed by the carbon atom at the end. So it's going to be propan one all. Uh, propan one all is you're going to have three carbon atoms and there's going to be an OH group and there would be two hydrogens attached to this, two hydrogens attached to this, and three hydrogens attached to this. Now we're supposed to draw we're supposed to draw the skeletal formula. The way you draw the skeletal formula is that the carbon atoms are nodes on the skeletal formula. So that's one, two, and so it's one. 2 and 3 and there's going to be an OH attached to the third carbon atom so these are the nodes 1, 2 and 3 carbon atoms and this is going to be the skeletal formula for the molecule. Let's move to the next part of the question which states that state the reagents and conditions needed for reaction 1. Let's go back and have a look. Uh, uh, reaction 1 is this one. It is alcohol changing into carboxylic acid which is oxidation and it's complete oxidation so it's going to be K2Cr2O7 it's going to be acidified and the conditions that would be used is reflux. Reflux would help prevent anything from um, uh, escaping the container because there's going to be a condenser on top. And in that way, the alcohol would get completely oxidized to carboxylic acid. So let's, uh, let's write down the conditions. K2Cr2O7, acidified and reflux or potassium dichromate 6. Next is state the reagents and conditions needed for reaction 2. If you go back and have a look at reaction 2, reaction 2 is the same reaction as reaction 1 except that the alcohol is not completely getting oxidized. It's getting oxidized to an aldehyde and it should get oxidized to a carboxylic acid but the reaction has stopped at, at an aldehyde. The conditions are going to be exactly the same. You're oxidizing an alcohol but you're preventing the complete oxidation. What you're doing is you're not using reflux, but you're using distillation because as soon as the aldehyde is produced, aldehyde has relatively lower melting and boiling points. The aldehyde is going to escape and it can be distilled. At the other end, it can be taken out from the mixture. If you don't take out the aldehyde from the mixture, it's going to get converted into a carboxylic acid eventually. So the conditions are going to be exactly the same. It's They're going to be K2Cr2O7, potassium dichromate 6, acidified, but instead of reflux, you will be using distillation because distillation would help us remove the aldehyde very, very quickly and that would be taken out of the container. Let's move to the next part. Uh, the next part is we need to name the organic product P, uh, that is the product of the reaction 3. Let's go back and have a look at reaction 3. So there's propanol and there's propanoic acid and they connect together and alcohols combined with carboxylic acids to form esters. So I can make that esters or ester over here and then we're going, to, we're going to try and name it. So I've drawn the propanoic acid, I've drawn the molecule of propanol. How are esters form? The OH is lost from the carboxylic acid, the H is lost from the alcohol. Let's, uh, let's remove the two. And these two eventually combine with each other and they form an ester. This side is called, uh, the carboxylic acid is, side is prop, three carbon atoms. The alcohol side is also prop, it has three carbon atoms. The alcohol side ends with propyl uh, or vial and the alcohol side ends with OH. So its uh, name is going to be propyl propanoate. That would be the name of the molecule. 